Hello and welcome friends. This is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I blog here at pattystamps.com each day. And today I have a pre-recorded video for you. I know many of you were looking for my Facebook Live and you couldn't find it because Facebook was just not cooperating today. So what we are going to do is we have a whole box of new Stampin' Up! product from the new catalog that I am going to share with you today. This, as I said, was supposed to be a Facebook Live, but I am so sorry that that wasn't working, but we are still going to have fun, and it's kind of hard because I'm looking over here for your comments, and there's no comments because this is not a live video. <laughs> But let's have fun, let's dive in, let's look at new things. You may remember that I already shared with you two other unboxing new Stampin' Up! haul videos with a new product that I've received in a demonstrator pre-order and my first order. Now, these are other products that we didn't get to look at, so we're going to look at some of the specialty papers, the designer papers, and some bundles and stamp sets and punches and dies. So let's just jump in with this one first. This was a sampling of the new Layering Leaves stamp set, and this is beautiful. It is a Million Dollar Achiever designed set by Rachel Tessman. I love this. Love the fonts, love the greetings. And there are actually, as you can see, seven different greetings. And what I thought was that they would pair really nicely with the All That Dies. And I think this is just a fabulous pairing. So let me just grab that quickly here in the catalog to show you if you're not familiar with that set. This is something that's been in the catalog before, and it is absolutely one of my favorite set of dies. And i you've heard me talk about my um, die cutting fairy. My friend Tammy will die cut for me, and I have just like tons and tons of packages of pre-cut dies all in white, and I love to use that for greetings. So I've used several of the shapes in the all that dies and I just paired them up with the stamp images the greetings in this set so this just gives you kind of an idea and I used seven different blues and just for you know kind of fun and reference and just to see how they would look and then the leaves in this set match up with the bow punch which has been around for a while so two different leaves in there well this is kind of kind of a little flower image I guess but you can stamp it in whatever color you like I just did those in the new lemon lime twist just to see how they looked. So there is just a quick look at that. I love this. I highly recommend it if you love punches, if you love greetings like I do, and you could even stamp some of these ahead of time and have them handy to put on cards. So just just a great bundle there to match up with the punch. Next up, I wanted to show you this set of dies. I think we briefly looked at it in the, a previous video, but I didn't have them die cut yet. So you have a nested set of four banners of four, should we call them rounded rectangles? And four of these sort of diamond, um, there's got to be a name for this shape, and I don't know officially what that is called, but I wanted to just show you that on the banners, there are actually a double set, or is a double set of stitching, and then the other two dies just have one, step, one set of stitching, that's a tongue twister, around the edge. So I just did them in three different colors just to kind of show you how that looks. And these, of course, will be great for lots of different images or greetings, but I love this new again called nested essentials set of dies so there's a good look at it for you in real life they're really quite large which is nice for using some bigger images 
Next up, let's quickly look at the Berry Harvest background stamp. I think this is really beautiful. I tried it here with Berry Burst ink on Berry Burst cardstock, and then this is the new Moody Mauve ink on Moody Mauve cardstock, just to give you a little reference for a couple of different colors. I think this would also be gorgeous stamped in black on white and colored in maybe with sponge daubers and stampin' blends, but I do love the background stamps. They're, they cover a full quarter sheet of cards of cardstock, excuse me. So love this. I think that's going to be a fun one to work with. We did already look at this elegant tag topper punch briefly in a previous video and I remember that I shared with you if you cut your cardstock to two inches wide that's what you need to just slip it in and to punch and so you could get something like this with a punched edge on both ends or you could just you could just punch one edge and it will be like a tag but here I have paired it up with this new set called Kindest Expressions. I used two of the images from this set on here just to kind of see how it would look with a nice large greeting. And I think it's fabulous. I really love it. And I know when I showed it before, a couple of people were saying that they couldn't locate it quickly. So let me just show you on the punch... Uh, double page of punches in the catalog. You have to flip over to this next set of punches and it's down here at the bottom, Elegant Tag Topper Punch. So that's where it is and I don't think you kind of get the full effect of what it might look like just from seeing this. So I thought this would give you a good look at what that punch does. All right, next up, this is kind of a little sneak peek here, and I probably shouldn't show much of this because this is for an upcoming event that I am doing in June. It's our summer soiree, and it is a team event with the Love to Stamp group and other demonstrators for um, just learning about new products, but we are actually fortunate enough enough to have Sarah Douglas coming to our event and I'm really excited. So one of the things I'm going to be teaching about or have a table displaying about is this new exposed brick embossing folder and I'm just going to give you a sneak peek because um, this is going to be a fun exclusive project for our attendees. But you can see I've used it in the background here with the new copper clay um, cardstock. And then what's really fun is that we have added some of the new metallic paint to it. So I will be showing more of that when after our event, but I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on that. And I did use the new Earthen Textures stamp set and matching set of dies. This looks like a mess because I was tossing them back in after I was using them. But um, I know you've seen me do this before. I use these little post-it note flags when I want to hold a die down on top of an image to die cut it. And I just leave the flag on there. So that's why they're in there on the magnet sheet. But I know, sorry, that looks like a little bit of a mess. But I did use it to die cut the pots. And that is the Earthen Textures Bundle. Another new embossing folder is Twisted Rope, and I'm going to, again, just give you a tiny little sneak peek here. This is just something that I did with that, and again, that's going to be for our upcoming event, so I'm just doing a super quick sneak peek on that, but it's a beautiful folder, so these two new folders are really great to use. Now, these two, I'm sorry, I haven't had time to use yet, but I did want to show you that I will be having projects coming up as soon as I get back from the Stampin' Up! Norway incentive trip, the patchwork pieces, and the wanted to say dies. These are not part of uh, bundles. I don't think they are. I think they're kind of standalone dies, and so they might be missed. I just wanted to call your attention to those. This bundle, I did just something real quick with it to show you. So this is called Darling Details. 
and it has the stamp set and the set of dies. But I wanted to show you that this die right here was kind of why I purchased this. I really love this. It's a little bit of a throwback maybe to some stamping years ago, but this is a frame die. So when you place it on your cardstock, you're going to get this as a die cut image. So it doesn't cut around the edge. It does do the stitching around the edge and then you have this cute little lace. Isn't that cute? I know it's a kind of a throwback, but still. And then what I thought after I had done that was I wondered if this piece in the middle, if I could get this die cut out of it and it did. So this die cut right out of there. So you can see that it fits. If you don't want to waste cardstock and you want to reuse the center, you can use the smaller one. Now I know that this outside looks a, a little bit odd. I would probably go ahead and cut this into a rectangle, but you could use it like that. I'm on the fence about whether I think that's good or not. It's okay. <laughs> but just the fact that you don't have to waste a second piece of cardstock, I think is amazing. And then this is what comes out of the center. And I think that would make a fabulous little die cut in itself. So kind of a three in one out of a quarter sheet of cardstock. So I just wanted to show you that tip. And then I will, of course, be designing with this and use it. We are actually using this on an upcoming crafting cruise that Kirsten and I are hosting this September. So this is one of the bundles I'm designing with. And I know I will be sharing that tip during that event. We did look at Gorgeous Garden briefly before, and I don't think I had samples done yet. So I wanted to show you this. The Gorgeous Garden dies have two dies, a floral and a leaf. And this is what I created with the floral background. It's die cut out of patterned paper on this one. And it's the Hello Irresistible, which is an online exclusive. At this point, it's still available. I don't know when it will run out, but I thought it was pretty with just sort of subtle background colors. And then this one is die cut with white cardstock on top of that same piece. Well, it's a different piece, but the same pattern from the Hello Irresistible. So then you get the gorgeous um, sort of ombre look of colors. And this, these have been on my blog. So you might be thinking, well, I saw that. You're right. You saw that. It, they, they were on my blog. And it was the textured floral bundle that I used for stamping and die cutting of these flowers and leaves. And I just absolutely love it. So I did already give tips on stamping in multicolors, and, well, inking and then stamping with multicolors and about getting the die cuts to have multicolors as well. So that blog post, I will try to remember to link in the YouTube description here so that you can see that. And then I did also blog these cute monkey cards that were featuring this leaf background from the Gorgeous Garden. So those two were on my blog, and it is this super duper adorable little monkey um, stamp set. And then there's a matching punch that punches out this little monkey that I've used on the cards. I thought these were so cute. This one is coming up. It's not been on my blog yet, but it is coming. Same basic supplies with the Gorgeous Garden leaf die in the background and then the cute little monkey punch there. So those were the new stamp sets, bundles, and dies, embossing folders and punches that I had for you. And I wanted to quickly look at some of the new paper because I know you always love to see that. So let's first look at, there are two of these packages one is called Soft Shimmer. Let me just grab it out of the plastic because I don't want it to reflect too much. But this one is called Soft Shimmer and it has five colors that are just gorgeous. So you have the 
Pretty Peacock, Night of Navy, Lost Lagoon, Bubble Bath, and Berry Burst. And you can see that it is, I hope you can see that, a gorgeous shimmer like a glitter paper, but it's not glitter that comes off. So it's just part of the paper. Beautiful color selection. Love this. And it is white on the other side, just so that you know you'd only be using the one side of this. But again, that's the soft shimmer paper. And let me, before we go on to the rest of them, let me just show you in the catalog, this page is a little crazy looking, shall we say? Page 127, these are the specialty papers and this is where you will find what I'm just showing you just now. So right down here, number seven is the soft shimmer paper that I just showed you. And then there is also in color luster paper. So you have the new in colors and there are two, I was going to say slices. That's pretty funny. Two pieces <laughs> of each one. And these are the five new in colors. And let me just hold that up so you can see. It's not as a, like glittery looking. It's not meant to be. It's a luster paper, but it is double sided. So if you were using it for maybe box or bag or something like that, you wouldn't have a white back. So a little different than that previous one that I just showed you. And then let's see, let's quickly look at some of the Earth and Elegance paper. I think this is pretty amazing. And the what I call the back sides, I think are really stunning and a little more subtle than some of the patterns on the front. But these I think are just gonna be so much fun to use. So different than what we are kind of used to seeing with our Stampin' Up! papers. And I just think they are stunning. And I don't know, just, just so different and so wonderful. I love them. Masterfully made. This might be a little overwhelming to some. I, I must admit, when I first saw this piece, I was kind of like, wow, 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 okay. But I do think there are going to be really fun applications for these. I especially love this piece. I think this is probably my favorite. And I just saw one of my team members use this page, and I hadn't really looked at this page, but wow, this is really a fun one. I love that. I can't wait to use that. This is gorgeous. Again, another pretty pretty bright and bold piece here. Such a different technique, right? Love this backside too. And then the, the new lemon lime twist. Such a great pattern here. So that is masterfully made. I knew you'd want to see that in person. So I think that about sums up the new items I had in this third unboxing haul video for you. I'll just bring a couple of things back in here to remind you of what we looked at. And I'm so sorry this didn't work as a live today. I really would have loved to chat with you and get your feedback on some of these things. But I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that this was a fun peek into some of the new things and maybe gave you a couple of ideas that you might want to work on. Uh, I hope if you have questions that you will leave them in the comments. And if you have suggestions or something that I might have missed, I'm happy to read those as well. So thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to hop over to pattystamps.com where you can find more information on products or place your online orders. You can contact me through that website, through my blog, and you can also request a catalog if you don't have a demonstrator. So again, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all soon.